Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 40.6, and we're going to keep going. I got like a couple more things I want to show you with a blooper. First thing I did is I prepared a chord progression loop uh, pattern on the SP404 Mark II. So nothing like super crazy, just a two-bar loop playing four different chords. But what we can do on the blooper is if we record, start recording on the 1.1 and end on the 1.1, we can start doing some fun stuff. And you already hear like, kind of getting like, like chorusy vibrato kind of sound because it's playing both here. I'm just going to stop it. But with the slicer feature, we can start making like some fun little, um, it's basically chopping it up into 16 pieces and rearranging them it gives us some fun different kind of patterns we can play with. And if you don't like the pattern, you can just turn the knob. So, I don't, for me, like the blooper can be a kind of a fun... You can hear I didn't quite get the 1.1 slice correctly. There's a couple off slices here. But it can be a fun way to get different loops going here. And just get some different progressions that maybe you wouldn't think about by just taking like a basic or four chords and just having the blooper chop it up. And if I go to the left here, you can hear it's kind of chopping it up in different ways. The uh, You can also do pitching on the mod as well. So I'm, gonna, I'm just basically here, I'm just turning on the two different modifiers. So now I've pitched it down and we're still getting that chopping effect, but I can change the speed it's playing back at. And it's, so it's, we're getting a different tone out of it and we're getting a different pattern. It can be just a good way to get different uh, bits of music to record off. Now, obviously this is coming out of the 404 Mark II. I'd have to then route it back in and record it and do it in such a way that I don't create a loop. Uh, you can catch up by guitar pedal videos if you want to really get into that. Otherwise you're probably looking at whatever you want coming in to the blooper and then have the blooper go out to the 404 mark II to kind of record these different pieces compositions and stems but i mean the 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 idea here is you know just take a looper and get some different sounds that maybe you wouldn't normally come up with or just kind of beat up on some different uh tracks that you've got to create different uh sections anyway guys I'm going to stop here and uh, say, keep making music. If it sounds good, it is good. And peace.